Hello, this is Professor Grant Thrall. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the relationship between geographic information systems and a statistics program such as R. One of the great benefits of geographic information systems is, of course, the ability to visualize your spatial data, to make spatial data. What we'll do in this demonstration is make some spatial data and then bring that spatial data into R. This is an example that school locations in Alachua County and for each school I have the count of total number of students and I also have the number of students on free and assisted lunch. Make working layer to calculate the, the approximate zone of an elementary school. Since we have all schools in here I'm going to select by condition and my field is height and my operator I can pull down or just type in equals and looking down the data fields we have elementary schools and I will call them 12001 elementary schools. Now we have created a subset of elementary schools, tools, export and export just the elementary schools to a standard geographic file. We'll call this 12001 and then add the layer to the map. Now I can drop or hide my previous school layer and just to emphasize that this is indeed just the elementary schools. These orange dots represent the location of the elementary schools to confirm with you all so you can visually see it's now the working layer for sure and tools so we want to find now the area uh, around each elementary school assuming that people are going to send their children to the closest elementary school and we'll call this elementary zone and it's 412001 and I have already opened up my five digit zip code data layer which is actually technically a zip the postal service does not create zip code polygons the u.s census converts these carrier routes into a polygon zip, zip and the, these are my attributes that's included file add the number of children under the age of five so this is our database we have the area of each of the school zones. Uh, we have the number of zip codes that were used in the aggregation and we have the count of the number of children under the age of five in each school zone. To export this as a standard geographic file, call this under five, add the layer back to the map. remove my previous layers, my previous school zones, and bring in the school zone that I just created. Look at my data view and here's my nice count of children under the age of five by school zone. We'll compute a clip tools, geographic utilities, clip by area, clip it to my county boundary that I've used before, this uh, dark brown boundary, and add the resulting layer to the map. Okay, so here's my version 3. So I'll turn off my previous data layer. and We've clipped it to the county. And let's confirm by looking at the data view. Since we have our data in our mapping software before we leave it, I believe it'd be nice to make a thematic map. And here will be a thematic map of children under the age of five with equal size intervals. And I'll refer you to Mark Moliner's excellent book, How to Lie with Maps, on choosing the number of data intervals. We don't want to say we pick four intervals. And we'll go from some light color to represent comparatively fewer students to a darker color. Now we have that, let us open up, I'm going to open up my Bonai Polygon and I would like to keep my name of the school 
for each polygon. So I'm going to compute another overlay, this time passing the name of the school from the point to the polygon. Make my polygon, my school district, my active layer, tools, geographic analysis, compute an overlay, and I will compute an overlay with 12001 elementary schools. And what I want is the name, address, copy, city, copy, and of course we know that it's in the state of Florida, we'll copy it anyway. Zip copy, and the type should be elementary school, we'll copy that. And the rest of these will are just being ignored. And we'll call the version 5. So here we have elementary schools, we have the zip codes, we have the addresses for each elementary school, for each zone, and the name. And so in our map here, we can labels name and we'll have as our color something that contrasts highly. I'm thinking about a, a yellow. And so here we have then the name of each school zone named after the school within that zone. Now I'm going to save the Tableau, and I can choose to save it as a dbase file, as a CSV file. That's what I'll do. I'll call it overlay.csv. I have opened my CSV file, and I have here. I could have saved it as a DBF file, but I have typed in the name, area. This is the count of zip codes that were used, or proportional, in each of the overlay operation. This is my count under five, name of the school, the street, the city, the state, the zip, and the uh, type elementary, of course. There's several fields I don't need. Go ahead and drop them. Drop. I don't have use at the moment for the number of zip codes, so I will drop that and here we have the array that I want so save as other formats and I'm also going to save this as a Microsoft workbook as an Excel workbook file now we'll go into our R program our University of Illinois econometrics tutorial introduction to R and what we first want to do is to read our data and I am going to, instead of typing in the whole directory, I'm going to go ahead and change uh, to my directory. Following the example of University of Illinois Applied Econometrics Group, I will type in school zone, and then we'll have read CSV. Then the CSV file name that I've saved, which is overlay.csv, and I do have a header. And there was no error message, so I've got my data in there. The interface between GIS and, and R. So we could write down summary of uh, tool zone, and, and there we have demonstrated that this is for the zones and the distribution of children under five. And others that we can pull up here, plot, plot school zone. And here we have an array, a lot of which you know, would not make sense, but we draw an array of every combination of data fields that we have in our overlay data file. So that is my demonstration of the interdependence between GIS and R.